at home. So I don't feel that I do it a lot here. Um, so when people do it to me, it really frustrates me. Um, I suppose I grew up in a very similar, and I think some of you have had a bit of a taste of my upbringing. It was pretty weird. I've never been a person to speak up. It has taken me to nearly 27 that I can now speak up. And it's hard being in this house when there are people who don't want to listen to what I have to say because it took me, for God's sakes, my whole life to get to a point where I am now that I can speak. So when we get a question like this that says, is, is, it, is it right what's going on? No, it's not right. I believe that people should be heard and I believe that people should take a back step. But you both said that you're not going to. You both said that that's part no, of your... No, that. listen to me, please. <laughs> if you both said, you both said that that's your character and, and we are lucky to have that character in here and I'll agree with that. You need to be yourselves in here. I never here. said you were lucky. You said that. Yes, I did. And these are my comments. Mm -hmm. And if you don't want to change, I can't do anything about it. But I'll keep being me. David, no, 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 hang on. Let her do it. Oh, right, then we can... Oh, right, OK. Yeah. And then let Perry speak. I'm definitely got something to say. Dave, oh. No, 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 it's gross. Um, I am... You're going to speak to me, that's cool, but I've got to... I don't want to be here. I need time by myself, so I don't... So ridiculous. It's our house and we're here to stay. I don't want to bring David down. I will not bring him down, but I certainly will not have him sit here and refer to Camilla and I that we are talking over him and not listening to him. Well, well my next I've comment was going to be, this is not a bloody boot camp. <laughs> like, we're supposed to be having fun. <laughs> Okay. It's, no, it's fine. It's, it's not. Dave, I'm not going to leave you alone like this. Don't be friggin' ridiculous. I care about you too much to leave you in this state. Let's just start pulling your head together and we can talk. Seriously, I just, I really need to be alone. I'm not leaving you, Dave. I care about you way too much to leave you. Next, the pot calls the kettle black. He keeps going on and on and on and on, and you can't get a word in. To evict David, SMS David to 199 evict. To save David, SMS David to 199 to save. Or call 1902 555567 and follow the prompts. Earlier, a heated debate over house politics resulted in David leaving the table in tears. He's come to the diary room to discuss his feelings with Big Brother. David. These girls are real bitches. They are real bitches. And it's now becoming much more apparent. Much more apparent the more time you spend with them, you can see they're being... Mm, ..being devious. Thank you, everyone, for... Um Standing up for yourselves and for me and for... Oh, yeah, yeah well, I did that out there. I don't like people putting people down. Thank you. He keeps going on and on and on and on, and you can't get a word in. He's got tactics. Hidden agendas. And I don't mean that as a bad thing. I mean that as... But um... tonight's just confirmed certain things. He's got a, a control issue. And he's got a... Which is pretty obvious. He's and got that's a bit evident. He's a hypocrite. Much day I'm sorry, he's a hypocrite. Bit of a hypocrite, I must say. He's he a was, hypocrite. He was contra actually contradicting himself. He does whatever he wants around here and then has a go at everybody else for doing what they want. So there's only one thing to do of all the things I'd love to do and that is just walk back in there and do the only thing you can do with these females and that's not bloody fight them but just endear yourself to them so they don't constantly have these bloody bitchy bloody remarks. In this week's nominations, David didn't take the three points from himself, instead choosing to save Darren from eviction and leaving David, Crystal and Perry facing departure. Either he's under an extreme amount of pressure this week, but the what truth for? is... Why? He because he nominated... Why? Because he, he put himself, put in, himself in there? Why? If, if that was the case, why do it? Mm. Why? Yeah. Because no, but I know. I know do you know what I mean? But what I'm saying is why... Why would he have done that? It's an ulterior motive. He's going to come across, oh, the nice country boy. That's he, right. He's That's so right. generous. That's right. Blah, blah, That's blah, right. blah. Another, another See, This is her friend. Because I'm a threat to this him. This is her friend. And 
Is he a threat to him? This is her friend. Forget me, forget David. This is her friend. Ten weeks, this girl here was Think here with Camilla. the He's girl. Why would, he ta yeah. why would he not take off here? Camilla, yeah, I'm please listening. explain. Why would he not? That's what aggravated me. I've survived about... five evictions. This guy, is he a threat? No, he's been here two I weeks. Like, so... Crystal, when he comes out tonight and he says, and you say that to him, or tomorrow or whatever, I guarantee you he'll go... <gasps> Oh, he'll cry. Or he'll do on the sad act. I can't believe you think that yeah. about me. Blah, blah, blah. Do you believe it? No, no not for a second. He s I was almost going to laugh when he started crying. <laughs> no, seriously. Mm. not stupid. A very large part of me wants to just go back to my farm where I don't have to worry about all this stuff. But I'm not going to just walk away from this. I would've, if I was going to do that, I would have done it bloody ages ago. Camilla, you've got so much to give. You as well. You're the level balance, but you need to come out a bit more. I'm telling you. But you it's and not you, in me. It's too. okay. It, it'll come and when be, you're ready to come. I know. That's what I said to you guys. Believe when I walked me. out here. I'm not as against David as you guys are. That's why I'm not firing and that's why no, I'm you not don't yelling need to be. You but don't I'm need saying, to be like that. At the same that. time, I just saw him in a state then and I've walked out and gone, okay. I've never seen anyone in that state before. So people who have behaved like that don't last long around here. The girls have been discussing the situation with David for an hour while he's been in the diary room speaking with Big Brother. How are you feeling now? Still prefer to be at my farm. Big Brother is always here. Is there anything else? No, that's it. That is all. After earlier having words during the family dinner, Crystal and David finally sit down and talk. In an anarchy situation, you know, anarchy is when there is no order. Mm. Those people that are loudest and strongest rule. Yeah. I don't believe in that. Mm. I believe I... that there should be order, and so if someone speaks, mm. someone should listen and give respect. I'm all for that idea, definitely. It wasn't and that comment that offended me. Mm -hmm. This is how you worded it. You said, you brought up the fact of your childhood and you go, you don't know what I've been through. You don't know this and you compared it to your life. Mm -hmm. And this is why. And so you, you're, you're insinuating that you had it worse off than other people at that table by the, making that comment. And everyone oh, heard it. Yep. Everyone, everyone felt the same. And I'm the one that's telling you, it made me feel like you were putting on the sob story, comparing your story to mine when you have no idea. And I think it's good that you can, you can voice your opinion and I think it's good that you can actually open up and give us some insight into your childhood, but never compare it to other people's because you have no idea what every single one of those people sitting at the table across from you have, have been through. You haven't been in their shoes, you haven't dealt with their situation, so please don't compare. That's the only thing that really upset me, okay? And that's, that's, that's the main thing. Coming up, has Perry pushed David too far? You are wrong. Okay. And it is deeply offensive. I hope you feel bad for what you have now made me feel. To evict Crystal, SMS Crystal to 199 evict. To save Crystal, SMS Crystal to 199 to save. Or call 1902 555 and follow the prompts. Votes cost 55 cents, calls from mobiles higher. Voting lines close at 7.45pm Australian Eastern Standard Time this Sunday the 9th of July. Terms and conditions, bigbrother.3mobile.com.au I just um, don't want you thinking that I've attacked you. It's been an emotional night in the Big Brother house and David's been at odds with all of the girls except Claire. People weren't taking on board the fact that I do what I do and that is try and get people to be heard, mm. try and create a situation where there's ordered conversation so that it's not just a yell fest. I think, personally, you go on a bit too much about getting your point across with being heard, OK? And I find you, and I'm going to be honest with you, that you're playing the game. David chose to save Darren with his three points on Monday instead of himself, and the girls think it's a tactic. I believe that you have got some tactics and you're playing the game. What have I been doing? I find you a bit calculating. Yep. You're very, you are intelligent. I'll give you that. Well, you did a tactic on the Monday night. Huge tactic. 
and you correct me if I'm wrong. You are wrong. 